And your beauty like time because it's endless. I can have your number? No. Are you a parking ticket? Because you got fine written all over Don't you. Touch me, you nasty girl. Mm. <laughs> Hurrah. Hello everyone and welcome to fight day in me hometown of Perth. There's a toddler with an awesome mullet, but let's stay focused on the action. The backpack Sheila is wondering if this is part of the package deal. Visit the wildlife park, get humped and chased by a roo, you never know. In comes the only human willing to say enough is enough. Go back to where you came from, mate. The kangaroo replies, that's a fucking weird thing for a tourist to say, to be honest. Yeah, well, I said it. I, I know you did. I heard it. I'm the one with the big ears. And then lovely big ears says the tourist interesting strategy doesn't de-escalate yeah nah the kangaroo still wants to bash him okay i see how it is prison rules anything bloody goes yeah super kick <laughs> in me and as a teenager he's like look i'm the dodgy one around here if you want to fight someone fight me i've already got me tracky dacks on the kangaroo considers his options and listens to his cockatoo mates Oh, knowing he's got the support of the cockies, he really starts to arc up. Personally, I think if you're taking advice from cockatoos, your life isn't going that well. This kangaroo needs better friends. It's pretty good composure from the tourists. Their arms would be getting scratched to shit, and they still haven't thrown a full-blown punch. I reckon this will be similar to the Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk fight. They'll just be sparring and sussing each other out. No one will want to go home with a blood nose. It's not worth pissing blood over who has the most followers online. Okay, this is eating up a bit. The tourist is starting to feel like the whole country has stitched him up. It is dodgy. We take your money at the door, don't put any fences up, and then film you to see if you can survive. That's how we run our wildlife parks. It's a cheeky and unique holiday experience. I don't think anyone works here. Seriously. Maybe these guys just walked into someone's backyard in Armadale. Shit effort by the pelicans and the emu in the background not to help. Yeah, it's like everyone has just become numb to this kangaroo's bullshit, which is sad. I don't like bullies. Oh, I think a park ranger is coming. She's like, fuck off, Skippy, fuck. The employees definitely sat back and placed bets. Say whatever you want. I'm telling you, I'm getting the fuck off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the fuck off, and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two fucks, but I am telling you right now, that motherfuck that motherfucker back there is not real. And you can sit on this plane and you can fucking die with them or not. I'm not going to. The man found jaws at the end, and that person was his wife. You're right, and I hope this is dark enough. Let's try it. Would you say that you're easy? Mm hmm Oh, like, easy to get along with? I mean, however you want to take it. You say yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty easy. That's good, me too. I have. I feel like I need to start having standards for myself. You don't have standards. I dated a girl in a wheelchair. Okay, there's and, no. No, no, but I'm telling you, she walked down my life still. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Why did she roll out of your life? Oh, she actually walked out of my life. How? That's why I'm trying to figure out. To this day, she just blocked me at the work. She blocked you? So I don't know the whole time if she was pretending because I got a camera of her just packing her stuff up and putting it in the car, and I was blocked. And I'm like, hold on, she walking. Are you making this story up right now? No, this really happened. How many flights of stairs does it take to get up to your apartment? Why well, I got to have an apartment? Can you open this for me? <laughs> Well, I'm trying to, I'm stuck on an apartment. Why I gotta have an apartment? We got houses. Nice ones. So what do you do with all this money you're making? You're making tons of money. 
You made $50 million? Really? I did. How much of that money do you spend and how much do you reinvest into the business? What do you mean reinvest into the business? Oh, I don't know. You have $50 million. I do. And you give a lot of it back, is that true? You help out people. I saw you bought a really, really nice home for someone in Florida. I did? Who? I saw an article about it. They said you bought a, a very nice home for someone in Boca Raton. No, it yeah, for me. Oh, it was for you? Yeah. I bought a house in Florida. Mm -hmm. You know what they say? What do they say? Peninsula. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there has ever, in the history of all mankind, there has been a greater disparity between financial success and talent. And this girl's success has to deal with our society than her. And it's absolutely sad. You make a million dollars on OnlyFans, no guy gives a fuck because we know how selfish you guys are. You'll never give us financial access. We you know go. your nature. We know you want to hoard money for your kids. We know you guys are going to hoard the money for yourselves. You've No woman in history has ever took care of a man for 99 years until his heart explodes in his fucking chest. You guys can't even do a couple years without getting your dry. It's pathetic. So we know we're not getting your money. Now, if we do get your money, right? Because if you, if you have money as a woman, you're either a hoe or Hillary Clinton ugly. Right? You're either Hillary Clinton or OnlyFans. Okay, well, That's, it. That's it. That's it. No in between. No in between. I, I have definitely dated guys who are not as financially well off as me, and I have. Where they at? Where are they? Why yeah. did you abandon them? They're hurting. <laughs> They're about to kill themselves because you women never kill yourselves. We've got a genocide against our gender. You abandoned Why a man are you making less than you. I abandoned well, where is he? Do, well, do men initiate divorces and breakups? Is it that he broke up with me? Is that a you got dumped by a broke dude? <laughs> <laughs> Money you love me? Had to. That ain't right. I don't like that. If I'm making more money than him, I don't... You man. should help him get some more money. How am I going to do that, though? If I have my own career, I'm doing what I'm doing. A woman's supposed to be a helpmate. I feel like a man is supposed to be that for a girl. A man's supposed to be a leader. You right. You're supposed to help him be a better leader. So I was in the wrong. Now I'm the bad guy. I'm always the bad guy. Are you looking for a daddy? I ain't looking for a daddy. I got my own money. I got my own money. I could do what I do. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't need a guy for money. But you want one. I want a man to be stable. If I was to leave him, I want him to so be... He, he wasn't stable? He was okay, but I was making more than him. So he was... But he was stable, though. <laughs> I guess, yeah. So why are you leaving, then? You say you just want... Because he wasn't doing better than me. I need a guy doing better than me. And if he's not doing better than me, then... I guess I feel like it would have been more real if you'd have helped him get to where you wanted him to be. Y'all want the these guys. I feel like guys want that love story. I feel like guys want us females to be with them girl. in the trap, do nah. what they do, and then when nobody shit goes downhill. No, you, nobody want that. You want that. You could have helped him outside of the trap, anything. But he could have did that himself. He could have went to school. He could have went to, he could have did that himself. I would have encouraged him. Encouraged him. I'm not no, I'm not his mom. I'm not gonna carry him and go do 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 this and this. The more loud and the more she spoke, the more it got worse. The woman being loud and the man being calm should tell you everything you need to know about the conversation. <laughs> I don't want to be mean to you, but I'm gonna pull the age card a little bit. At 18 or 19, you're not even old enough to have conservative values because you don't even know what that's, life is like. That's yet. that's so, not true. I, I hold on. I know a lot of women that have authentically conservative values in that 18 to 22 year old range, and they have it because they were raised in families where their parents and actually. Yep. Raised and I know a lot of those way. women that try those relationships, and after five years, they're fucking miserable, and they're and like, that, I that, fucking yeah. ruined my life getting with this conservative that guy. That sucks, but it's, it's that's not. What I, that's say, not all of them. Sure, You're painting not, it as no, if it's like know, the rule, but it's their exception. What I'm, saying, exception. Well, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, you can't have conservative values in 1820. What I'm saying is, like conservative values imply some outlook of the world and seeing yourself and how you want situ to be situated in that world. And at 18 or 19, you don't really know. You have no idea. And so you, you think they women, don't really know, but a lot of these women do. They so don't, they don't but, have but experience listen, yet. But, to but know, right? if, if we were to like, you know, weigh it out like one versus another, like a woman you know, abiding by conservative rules, conservative values, getting married, having kids, like the negative outcome is completely way heavier on the girl saying. 
Destiny always has the worst takes. He can never prove what he says is true. He just says he knows somebody. This is why you should never take anyone with blue hair seriously. And gentlemen, on that note, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. A lot of women don't cook anymore, man. And here's my thought, it's true, gentlemen. Look at us, hungry clap. You hear that hunger clap? <laughs> And here's my thoughts, ladies. If God didn't want you to cook, then why did he naturally put milk and eggs in your body? <laughs>